representative image, the very, the very essence of God. But the, the idea is that God, God is beyond, is beyond time, is beyond space, black. Yes. is beyond eternity. Yes. 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 Yes, we got a man of God now from Africa. So you see oh, what a British poor people yeah, yeah. Yeah. pass yeah. from Clyde yeah. from Africa. Yeah. Just come on the man think of the man. Do we make a whole heap of country yeah. to Africa people? So, you can't say a man where so the man in the kingdom of God then, and the man of feed Would you say it's correct to say it is? To be like God, to have the same values as God, to resemble God. Africa got the man of people, so choose when the LA says someone will not tell life. Yes. The man of found the Africa, the uh, poor people in the Africa, the man of poor people in Jamaica. And there's a man like this, the man that kills six men. God fix. Africa yeah. has not come down. So 200 different parts in a church. Absolutely. Now, in, in the interest of time, we go over to chapter 2. And look at verse 7, when it says that the Lord God formed man from dust and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Help us to understand what that um, verse is saying. So God, 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 Having sifted up the, 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 the very small particle. As a matter of fact, according to science, it's understood that man was made of the form of the space dust. God needed something to put his spirit in, and so he formed the man's body out of that which dominated the earth. Yes. Okay? So, so now, so now, so he breathed oh, into our. Uh, tell us about that breathing. Yeah. So it's, it's understood also that the, the, the circulatory system came about because God breathed into the man. Yes. Uh, when God breathed into the man, it says man became a Ruhakim Malalam, meaning out of Arabic, it means that he became a speaking being. Yes. So he had no mouth. So what did God do? Actually, he took himself and breathed into his body and he called it man. So God made man human beings because later on we saw where he took a rib from the same man he made and he formed woman. That's another story. Perhaps we need to talk a little bit quickly because we have males and females here. So we don't want the same as if we are one-sided. So um, is it interesting that after forming the man, later on after forming the other things and putting him in charge, he said, it is not good. Right throughout the creation account, he has been saying, it is good, it is good, it is good, it is good. But then, for the first time in the creation account, he said that it is not good for man to remain alone. What, what, what? Help us to make a sense. Black. Uh, black. Because before he made the, before he formed the woman, you bought him out. Outside the rum, inside the rum, care is still a common. One of the British people, so the man of good youth, that are outside. What God did, he took the woman from the man. Yes. Just a little bit more, and I hope you're listening because this conversation will help us. It is not just your um, monologue, it is not a one way street, it's a dialogical. Say dialogical. Say dialogical. Yes, it's a dialogue, and coming out of this exchange, which will be very brief, you will pick up a few things which, when you leave this place, even if you never go back to church again, it will leave an indelible mark on your life. Yes, please continue. So, so uh, it's interesting because uh, he made, he made the, the woman to, he pulled out the woman to complete the man. So, what did he took off the man? He took the rib. Yes, the rib. The rib yes. He took his the esteem. Yes. He means in a structure, it means to organize, it means to, call, to be called by name. So when the woman, when the heavenly comes in, she brings structure into your life. Yes. She brings, she brings purpose into your life. Uh -huh. But uh, there, there's another thing that, 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 that comes, is that the woman, you, she is to be called by name. So you cannot call your wife by the name of your ex-girlfriend. Right. By mystic. Yes. Because she likes to be distinct. The very, the very rib. When they say that rib, it means to be distinct. Yes. So, so
for there is a distinct effort that God will only allow certain help me, when this is said, have help me in order for you to do what your life to be scattered before you get the right help me. After that, your life takes on purpose. Oh, and that's key there now. So, it is God who determines purpose. Yes. Now, in the same way we have machines, um, limousines, uh, uh, you know, all the various... Um, when the pastor says, they have a good um, woman in their life, and, and that's so, why the British have um, a good woman in their life. And the manufacturers, they know the purpose, a real purpose of the vehicle. In fact, they also develop a manual for the vehicle. Amen? Yes. Now, what happens when man and woman do not know their purpose. What happens? Yeah, enough man to know the purpose and woman to know the purpose. So that's why we have a book of woman to know your purpose and a man to know your purpose, girls. So, I like how the pass here preach, I preach good. The man of God here preach good from Africa. That lightness was mean physically, what you see. But lightness there uh, means to have the same thoughts, yes. to have the same mind, to think the same way. So God, he not he, he can only make you to represent him, but he gives you his mind. Yes. And there's a scripture that also refers to uh, we, we, we have the mind of Christ. Yes. Yeah. So having the mind of God is what changes you. Yes. And that's what God gives to, give to the man so that he can think like God and fulfill that divine purpose for which he, he, he was made. So, in this context here of a funeral service, a thanksgiving service, we have seen someone who has died. We know of the circumstances. Now, we have others around, many others around, who are still alive. Now, based on the word of God, what word of counsel can we give to them in terms of how they live their lives from now onwards? Because there is the sense that one can get up and determine at will what his or her purpose is without having any real connection with God through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is that wise? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting what you say because uh, in order to be really successful, you have to be in the place that God designed you for. Certainly. So God designed the man to rule the but He designed the man to rule the from a particular place. Yes, which is interestingly, the root word from which garden comes is garrison. Yes. Isn't that interesting? So what is a garrison? A garden, it means uh -huh. a protected place. It's a place where you put a fence to keep those that are inside, inside, and to keep those that are outside, outside. Yes. <laughs> it's for the things that are outside. Yes. So it's, it's Of sin 
is this. But, and when you see that conjunction coming there, you have to take note. But the gift of God is eternal life. Help us to understand what exactly is that verse saying? Well, that basically, when, when, when the man sinned against God, he lost the glory of God. The glory of God is the presence of God. That presence that transforms, will transform God into but, um, the first group, the second group in chapter, chapter 3. Uh -huh. uh, that we are changed by the glory of God. By the glory of God. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. by, from glory to glory. 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 Yes. Yes. So it's the glory of God that keeps the image of God in us. When we lose, when we lose the, when we lose the glory, we also lose the image of God. We lose that which maintains us and which keeps us in this person. Which even us even us. though we might have money, no. even though we might have influence, no. even though we might have, you know, lots of people around us, outside of a relationship, an intimate relationship with God in Christ, you're saying we'll lose um, glory. Yeah, because it, like, all that's got So the word of counsel then is that if we toil and labor in sin, and sin there it comes, and you will tell us it comes from the word martyr. It's a great word of martyr, which we talked about missing the way, missing the goal, missing the mark. So no. if we live our lives, keep missing that mark outside of the parameters established by the word of God, then our pay. A reward is, and what really is death? Death is basically an eternal separation from God. If if you die without having healing, you know, if death can be a stepping stone to the other grace for the great is, it, is that really so? Because there are some people who think that once you die, that's the end of the story. No, if, sure. Like when a dog dies, or a or, or a fowl or a bird dies, or a lizard dies, that's it. No, no. But it seems as if that's not really the case. No, it's the beginning. Tell us about it. No, it's the beginning of it. Because the, because the fact that the wages of sin is death. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal life. And then the Bible says that God is eternity in our heart. Okay? Yes. There is eternity in our heart. What we, when we receive Christ, when we, act, when we acknowledge Christ, what happens? We activate the eternal life that God has deposited in us. Yes. And then, by guidance of the word, we are now able to live. Hallelujah. And so we have touched many things in a very um, succinct way because we really wanted to start, which we did start from creation, to let us understand and appreciate the fact that God is our manufacturer. He designed us. He designed us with a purpose in mind. Every single one of us was designed with a divine purpose in life. But then, man of God, there is the accuser. There is a Satan. Oh, yes. And what is his role? What is his function? Well, the, the, the whole purpose of a Satan is to liberate us. And, and, and I think the, 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 the older guy would say, on our, on our side, there are, two, there are two different angels. We have one speaking to us for doing bad and one speaking to us for doing good. So we have a um, Hebrew is called the Yatsi Ra, which is the evil inclination, and the Yatsi Ko, the good inclination. And everybody can see that. That sometimes you feel like doing really good, and you also at the same time you hear other things. And Paul said he struggled. He struggled. The things that are right that he knows he should do, he does not do it. And the things that he knows he should not do, those are things he finds himself doing. But only God can, can, can help us if we give ourselves and we say, God, here am I. Um, and it's not, it has nothing to do with what you practice. Yes. It has everything to do with what you confess. Yes. That is what our confession is what changes us. Well, Romans 10 verse 9 tells us that. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. Same. And I like that word same, that word, that word same, which is subterranean, it means the totality of all that which is good saved. Yes. Health, euphoria, health, yes. Uh -huh. shalom, yes. well-being, balance, yes. wholeness, Ec wellness, Ec equilibrium. Ec Excellent. Ec Before you sit, man of God, because we're landing this plane now. Um, interestingly, interestingly, the uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 21, the power of life and death. Because you mentioned something about confessing, and the truth be told is very often we speak 
Father, just about anything, not rely on the Lord, 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 just about anything, not rely on the Lord
Our soul is that part of us, man of God. How important it is not to lose our soul. If you lose your soul, you have nothing. Okay, you have nothing. You have no existence. No existence. God breathed into the man breath of life and he became a living soul. And so my word, our word, of encouraging all of you, not to scare you or anything, that is why we have taken a dialogical approach. Because we love you. And with all the challenges that we had in securing a venue to have this service, we believe that a part of the reason we exist is to be there for you, to give you guidance, and to help you, if you are not on the right path, to be on the right path. So at the end of the day, you can make the right decisions. In Jesus' name, so let it be. Let us stand for prayer. Is there anyone in the congregation, upstairs, on the balcony, or downstairs? You are not saved. You have heard the word of God. You have heard the word of God, and you are convicted, and you want to make Jesus your choice. Is there anyone? You have heard the word of the Lord, and you have become convicted. If so, I'm not going to call you forward. Just put your hand up wherever you are. I see that hand. Any other? God bless you. I see those hands. Excellent. And so, man of God, Dr. Uh, Johnson, Michael, Michael Johnson, I pray he will be remembering you in prayers. I encourage you. Make Jesus your choice. Yes, please. Honor the Lord in your life and living. And once you do that, you cannot lose your present, your past, your present, your future and eternity. Finish and, and a money we shall go the credit people. You remember? Let us have credit for our church. So let us have some people that have some credit that's making up down by the show. If it cut off, it's up to 70% of the show. So cut off, we don't know how to credit one. So we are going to this level to a funeral club. So people don't know for the one send some credit for the thing that's making up. Keep up the program. I mean, I have to go buy credit and the credit is selling us some people.
siblings, the mother, he there about right now. By causing those that have never known you, they have an encounter with you. I release them into your care. I release them into your hands, God. At this point of their life, when Lord, friends will say a lot of things that so good, but sometimes it can't help. Cause that at this time of their life, they will hear God and feel God in a way. And you said, Jesus came to my rescue. Come in there into your hands that you will draw them closer to you. Because that they will know you. Lord and Savior, that when they go from this place, God, it will not just be a church meeting or another funeral, but it will be a time that they have to count on the presence, the mercy, the grace, and the comforting goodness of Almighty God. Remember those who raise their hands in acknowledgement that God, they are not ready to meet you, they are not ready for death, that they are sinners and they need to serve you. Touch them, speak to them, convict them of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Draw them to yourself, divine God. Walking from these doors, they will walk into eternity and they will be ready to meet you. Let your presence now go with each and every one, God, as they go to the place of committal. Let your guiding hands lead them. Cause that the rest of this evening and the rest of this service will be without accident and incident. And the presence of God will be evident upon everyone under the ear of my voice. And those that they will come in contact. Now release them to your blessings, into your care, into your deliverance, into your mercy, into your salvation. Because we ask it in Jesus' name. So, so let it be. Do be seated momentarily. All the children of the deceased who are here, please come to the front. Now, I'd like to obey the voice of the Lord. All the children who are here of the deceased, please come right up. Come, come, come. Come right up. Come, come. Come, come right up. Come right up. Please bring some olive oil for me, um, Sister Lady. Come right here. Come. You are looking at the next generation. Please come. Please come here and just form a line there. Hallelujah. British kids and the tear of the curse be broken for their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every generation of curse be broken. We pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that every single one of them shall be one for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They shall not be lost to the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cut them off from every unholy alliance. Yes, there is a son coming, yes, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who is the firstborn? Who is the firstborn? Who is the firstborn? Is there a firstborn here? Firstborn is not here. The second, second in line, you are second. Hallelujah, man of God, I want you to pray for her. It is crucial, yes, and we perhaps could have her standing proxy for the firstborn. Um, you wouldn't quite understand the spiritual significance of this, um, this, this moment, so I, I would asking you to pray for her prayer for her and of course that is not reflective of the entire uh, so family tell that's and wife um, that's a, like the, Af the African part of them the man they will be strong but the man said normal people all, all understand the significance of the olive oil the are you saying you need to make Jesus your choice not very often in public you will hear this Declaration being made over your life, and we'll be asking progress. Can we be praying for you? But we claim, look at me, we claim. Some people tell them they believe in a spiritual powers. Now it is very yes, important because, as the nature of the family, you have to be rightly aligned so that you can cover the children. And none of them shall die prematurely, even though not all of them came from your womb. But as the um, matriarch, the one who is left, you have that spiritual authority over all those who form the family. Hallelujah. And so it is very important that you make Jesus your choice. Not forcing him or anything, but if you hear the voice of the Lord, it is so important that you surrender to him. So 
Dr. Boucher, um, it's another daughter. You are firstborn. Come, you gotta come. Quickly, man of God. It's just that time will not allow us another time. We will explain to you the importance Watch that chicken of being firstborn. Firstborn, bless him, bless him. And no for no know what that's a matter of bless the African pastor them. Hallelujah. African no about the science. So this normal Christian that calls that will be the same one. Firstborn, grandson is here, where is he? It's a powerful Please spiritual fitness. This is something to know from about 18 years. My grandfather teach me that style of work. So even though the family, even the family blessings. So you have to do it to the first man, you have to do it to the woman who left or the man. So you have to do it to the grand, with the with the with the grand, with the grand grandchild. So I can't tell everything about my mom. Yes, and so this now, nothing can touch the family. Anything touch the family, I'm not past here. Let me do this. Judgment take them, nothing can go against a family. This way, my dear. People who don't know the science or the past, they don't know the normal thing. Big up the man of God from Africa. Watch this now. It's a unity thing in the family. It's a unity thing in the world. Watch all the past from Africa coming out. Them past from Africa coming out. Them past from Africa coming out. Some dangerous things. Nothing can go against a family. Watch all the past from Africa coming out. Like and share, more and watch this now. You understand? It's a purification in the past, you know. Normally, you know, when they do them, them things, 500,000 Jamaica dollars, them things, cost, or 6,000 US, them charge to them things. But them, one of the British family get it done free to the people. Yeah. It's a powerful thing, this, and a normal thing, this. You understand? Watch your God. I won't. You see, they have to send for the grand penny, too. I tell you, they have to send for any grand penny. You can't do without a grand penny. Grand penny, they have to go find a grand penny. So the grandchild just come. And then the wife, you know, one of the British, you know, that are tearing out. Over, over, over it. So if the family the go against her now, judgment will take any family against her. But if the family unite now, the man stop a little bit. So the 